Hi, I'm Lou, and we have another episode of My Car Story. Today we're at Shelby American, and this is the headquarter of where the Shelbys are made. And I'm here with Gary Patterson. Gary, you're the president. Absolutely, Lou. Good to see you. And I'm with Vince. Vince, say your last name. Violet. The Violet. And Vince is here because what was your role in this car we're going to see? I'm the senior designer here at Shelby, so uh, all the uh, stuff that we got going here, I pretty much had a hand in. Me and Gary. And, and what's the car we're going to see today? Today we're going to look at the new Talingua, and uh, there are some awesome features that you really have to see. And this is a full-out race car. Uh, yeah, normally we design a car for the street that's very applicable for the track. Yeah. Well, we went and kind of turned it around this time. Now we we have a race car that's pretty nice on the street. Let me grab the camera as I usually do. Now, guys, stay together for just a second because we are going to talk about the car, obviously. Now, I'm, Gary, I'm going to have you tell me a little bit about the Rabbit first. So come on alongside with me. <laughs> now, tell me about this Rabbit logo that we have here. Well, that Rabbit logo really dates back into the 60s. And Carol used to go down to Trilingua, Texas, and him and his buddies, Bill Neal, Bill Neal was a, uh, a wonderful artist, and he came up with all kinds of things. And Bill Neal actually came up with this crest that you see right there. So there's a lot of cool things about the crest. So the, the whole crest, as you know, down in Trilingua, Texas, there's not much running around except for rabbits. <laughs> and that rabbit was pretty cool because if you look at it kind of, uh, in a unique way, it's almost a spoof on the Ferrari yes. logo too. But the there's, stallion. yeah, the big stallion. But actually, this is just a, a bad boy rabbit, and that rabbit is is angry. And if you look at that rabbit, there's a lot of key features with it. You know, he's obviously moving fast. He's got his mouth open. The, the ears are straight back, sure. and he's got that paw in the air. Okay, <laughs> now the paw in the air is cool too because. That has a significance. When they were down in Trilingua, Texas, there were things that, yeah, we just won't talk about today, but. <laughs> so a lot of cool things went on, but there may have been some eating of the chili. A lot of people have heard of the sure. Sh Carol Shelby chili, and you can still buy the mix uh, at the grocery store. But uh, they may have drank some tequila too. Okay. And the chili was often really hot. And so when they'd eat that chili, um, the paw would go up and say, oh, I think that's probably enough peppers for the chili, or maybe it was they needed to wash it down with tequila, and I think I've had enough tequila. So either way, that rabbit was going, I think I've had enough. Yes. And then that whole crest with, uh, that Bill Neal had come up with, if you look, there's a lot of neat things about the crest, from the, the, you know, the hot sun to the, uh, the three tribal... Uh, Three, Indian three tribes, lines. and then like 1860, there was a whole story, you know, when they came out with the crest, Carol asked Bill, he says, so, so what's 1860? And he says, well, you know, that was, and he made this big story up about this chariot race that went on and so forth, and Carol kind of looked at him funny, he says, really? And he says, no, that's all crap. I just made it up. <laughs> so really, that's that's a lot of what that is. It's, so just it's like all, it could it's be all the fun it of it. It could be crazy, but this car is kind of like that, and it's got cool features, and that's what Vince is going to talk to us about. Vince, here. you've designed this car. Yes, sir. So come on. The, the neat thing, what, what we do is when we design things for Shelby, we have a whole different rule of designing things. We want everything for stay, function. Stay right along. So if you, I want to get a. If you, if you notice, if you notice, like the grill, the way the grill is, the nice openings on the grill, the nice open grills. The, uh, the way the front splitter is, everything like that, everything is very functional. This is one of our, uh, our development cars, so it's been around the track a lot of times. We've got thousands of miles on the track in this baby. When we did a carbon fiber hood on it, we decided to go ahead and add a little piece on the end to kind of bring everything down. Mm -hmm. If you notice the vents on the hood, there's a function for those. We're pulling about 65 degrees out of uh, in the exhaust manifold area, oh, on, wow. you know, underneath the hood, which is very important. You run a blower car, it's gonna, a little heat's going to kill you. So the mu as much heat as we can evacuate out of there, the better. You notice that we got rid of the, the uh, fog lamps and we went ahead and did brake ducts right here. A neat function, a neat feature that we did this year, actually on our newer cars, if you notice, is we made these available for everybody and we had changed up the light. This one has the original light, but our new light, since we got rid of the fog light, we said, hey, let's go ahead and come up with something. So we came up with an LED light that actually has a fog light in it and the side marker light, nice. which is a really neat touch for the new cars. So this is kind of a development car. This is the beginning of it. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the early ones, but we have plenty of brake cooling for the brakes. And talk about brakes, we got huge brakes on this thing. We got together with Brembo on the brake system on this one here. 
And uh, these are uh, uh, large brakes, uh, six piston in the front with floating rotors. And in the back, we run a, a four piston in the back. And if you notice where the, the caliper is sitting on this brake, Normally you see a brake caliper sitting up here, you know, mm -hmm. like this. Well, on, a, uh, on an independent rear suspension car, you get a lot of deflection when you do that. Since these are race cars and you run so hard, uh, Brembo actually designed it to where it all the, uh, the weight transfer comes off the lower control arm, which is very stable. This is a very stable car. Uh, we found things on this car here to where we had so much back brake, we were a little loose in the back, so at some of the tracks. So what we did is we take and we do a proprietary uh, brake pads on it. So we run a little more aggressive up the front, a little lighter in the back. Since we can't adjust a brake bias on this car, it makes this car awesome on the track. Very square braking on the car. On the car. If you look in the back back here. Give me we, one second. I want to take an overall side shot of this car. Okay. Let me t take one step back. There's a lot of features in, in this car, actually. There's a lot of things hidden. The suspension system on it, the exhaust system on it. We got, uh, under the hood is, we got 750 plus horsepower. Here, we'll touch on that in a little bit. Yeah, why don't you talk to him a little bit about the side rockers you designed, Ben? Uh, basically, the side rockers, what we're doing is we actually have a vent in here. What it does, we start, it starts a little bit of a vortex back here in the back. We're trying to pull some air out of the back also. Mm -hmm. So every, everything we do, we have, we have a purpose for it. Number 17. Number 17, that was the original number of the original car that uh, Jerry Titus, Jerry Titus drove. Actually, what's funny about this story is when they got together and they designed this car, they decided they were going to throw a car together in 68. Yep. 1968, and what they decided is they're going to go out and they're going to try some FIA racing with it. And they went out and they won for two, year, two yeah. years. Oh, yeah, they, uh, they did real good with that in yeah. Trans Am. So. Trans Am, too, yeah. So that would be uh, Jerry Titus won the uh, Trans Am Championship mm -hmm. in that car. And, uh, so this so is kind of an homage to the early cars is what it is. It's fantastic. Now, how many of these are you guys going to build? 50. 50. Just 50. So very special cars, very small niche market, and, uh, you know, fabulous on the track, fabulous on the street, and future collectability? Are you kidding me? Yeah. That thing's going to knock it out of the park. It's a collector car already. We did a uh, carbon fiber rear diffuser. We color the veins the same color as the car. Just a lot of, you know, a lot of nice little accents to the car. Borla exhaust system on it. The car's very content rich. Yeah, it looks fantastic. Let's uh, let's take a look on the inside, shall we? Let's do that. Really, really. Uh, I'm going to use the word luxurious on the inside. Yeah, you know, it's uh, the good old days are today, Lou. Um, when we look at a lot of the modern cars, a lot of them that we're building, uh, you've got a lot of the modern creature comforts. So this car's got uh, everything from satellite radio to a backup camera to, you know, rear warnings. And you can talk to the radio and tell it what songs you want to play and those kind of things. But it's got a lot of function, too. So, when, you know, Shelby's really all about function. So we've got... Uh, you're taking a look at those gauges, and uh, you know Vince designed those gauges in the gauge pod that goes with it, and then the uh, they they angle toward the driver. So it's it's all about the the business of driving. So as I'm sitting here, here's my steering wheel. You can click, quickly see the gauges. I'm going to look over your shoulder when we start it. And one of the things that I've always loved, Gary, about your product is all of the cool badges. Well, you've got a couple things there. You've got some key guys that have signed that from uh, Jerry Titus. Obviously, he's passed on, but uh, that's an electronic version of his signature. Carol Shelby uh, also passed, and uh, we've got Bill Neal. Bill's still with us, um, but uh, all their signatures, which is very significant. The other one that you were looking at was that serial number plate. So that gives you all the important information that you need for collectability. We match the Ford VIN number with the Shelby VIN number, and then down the road, uh, we know for sure that that car matches our records and who owns it, and that it's a genuine Tolingua. So that down the road, if somebody were to come here and steal all these parts, 
and put them on their car, we mm -hmm. would know that that's not the real car. Yeah, right. It really belongs to something else. And we keep really good records of who owns them and what their history is and things like that. So really those kind of things are also to help protect the investment value that somebody has in their car. You got it. Vince, take me under the hood, please. Yeah. Another thing we saw in there was a Barton shifter. We went ahead and upgraded the shifter to the car also. What does the Barton shifter do? Uh, what it does, it's a short throw shifter. So okay. it just makes it a little better, easier gate, everything like that. It's a lot better. Now if you look here, all the uh, this is a carbon fiber hood. If you look under here, all the blowers on all the Tolingo cars are yellow. Okay, these are uh, 750 plus horsepower motors. Uh, we went ahead and did a, a larger cooling system. We do a, a, a larger radiator tank in there. We also do a huge intercooler in this one here. And then a little intercooler, intercooler fills right here. Okay. The, uh, uh, everything about this car's performance. Uh, this car here actually has a, uh, a racing oil system on it. Uh, we have a different fuel system that we run in the race cars. So there's a lot of things that really go, go into this car to make it, you know, make it special. I love all the special and unique. You got the badging, yep. you got the cam covers. You know, the 2.9 liter Whipple supercharger is both positive displacement and it's a twin screw design. So you get boost, you know, instantly right off the bottom. So when you press on the gas, it gives you instant throttle response. You don't have to wait for that boost to come up. So it's, it's very linear too. So it's yeah. easier to control when you're driving on the track. And Vince and I were both uh, development drivers for Carroll Shelby and, and obviously Carroll trusted both of us uh, to drive the cars at their limits. Yeah, we've, we, we, I think last year we probably put about 6,000 miles on cars. <laughs> actually, a, last, fun, actually really. last weekend, probably between the two of us, I think we did at least 600 miles last weekend on the track. Wow. Yeah, yeah. and there, you know, <laughs> there wasn't much left of those tires. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and another thing, Lou, I want to tell you this, you know, all these cars are hybrids. They burn gas and rubber. There you go. <laughs> let's, uh, let's start this one, shall we? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Let's, uh, let's fire this bad boy up. difficult getting out of that. <laughs> you just put a permanent smile on my face with that rev right there. Guys, get together with each other. Absolutely. Hey, first of all, fantastic car. Really going to love seeing the activity on the views of this car. Guys, thanks for being on My Car Story. Thanks, Lou. Not a Lou. problem. Thanks for stopping by. Great having by. you here.